there's so many patients to take care of. And they're all so unwell for some reason. I told them to drink this special water and they drank it. Now they all have chlamydia, it's really weird. Anyway, is this your first time here? Uh, welcome, welcome to the doctor store. Welcome to my humble, humble shop. Now I hope you understand I do need to collect some information from you as a doctor because, uh, well, it is important for me to have that to treat you. Do you understand? Fantastic, okay. So I'm just gonna get you some basic information that we need from you, it's nothing too personal. So first things first, what is your name? Well, one letter name, I like that. I like that a lot, what's your last name? Interesting, interesting. I had a cousin with that name once. I killed him and dumped his body in the river. Anyway, what is your age? Questionable. And have you had a doctor before? Fantastic, that's what I like to hear. You haven't had one before. Awesome, that means I can keep my, uh, your expectations are pretty low. Fantastic. Now, the next thing I'm going to get you to do is I'm going to get you to sign this here release that's in this book. Uh, it should basically just freeze me from any legal bindings that we may have if you get, say, hurt or uh, injured in this, your doctor's office. It just releases me from any legal bindings or getting sued or anything like that. You wouldn't want me to get sued, would you? Fantastic, that's what I thought. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so now that we have all your information down, we can get started with your cranial nerve exam. Now the next thing I'm gonna get you to do is I'm gonna get you to watch my fingers. You see these fingers right here? They're beautiful, aren't they? I'm gonna get you to watch them and you let me know when they leave your vision, okay? Okay. Fantastic. Awesome. Good. 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 I get a little slow motion going in here. Good. 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 Awesome. Fantastic. You pass with flying colors. I'm so happy for you. Good stuff. So you see this pen right here? Or this is a Sharpie. I'm sorry, I'm kind of fucking blind. You see this Sharpie right here? I want you to look at it. Look at this Sharpie and follow it with your big, beautiful eyes. Okay, here we go. Wow, I had no idea you were cross-eyed. I didn't even know your, I didn't even know eyes could bend that way. Interesting stuff, interesting stuff indeed. No, okay, I'm gonna go up and down, you watch it then, okay? Why are they doing that? That's not supposed to be happening. I'm gonna, I'm gonna write that down in the handbook because, where's my pen, oh. I'm gonna write that down in the handbook because that's kind of fucking weird. You got weird eyes, bro. Patient is in fact blind. Okay, awesome. Next, let's move on to the fun part of the test. My favorite part. Can you read this? Oh, you don't speak English. Well, what the fuck have we been doing this entire time then? It's okay, it doesn't, it doesn't matter at all. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. Well, I'll give you a little English lesson. I can't even speak. I'll give you a little English lesson. It's like, no, I won't. I'm a doctor, not a teacher. Yeah, well, if you can't read, just tell me. Just tell me. Do you see a letter here? You do? Okay. How about here? You see a letter there? That's a good start. How about there? There. Okay, you 
C letters. That's good. I mean, you probably, yeah, yeah, I guess you can't read them, but I guess you can see letters. You're well on your way to becoming English fluent. Okay, now next thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be measuring your proportions, if you don't mind, because like I said earlier, your eyes are a little weird. So I just want to make sure that everything else is not weird. So I'm going to be measuring up and down. Interesting. So you have very, very odd proportions. Your nose is for some reason on your forehead. As a doctor, I've learned not to question things, but I'm starting to question a lot right now. Specifically what I'm having for dinner. Now what's your diet like? And last measuring test. Can you just, just stay still please? I don't even know what I'm measuring here, but it looks pretty neat, doesn't it? I don't know if I told you, but I am a doctor, by the way. I have, if you were in my waiting room earlier, you saw that I had 50 fucking plaques on my wall. It's just to assert my dominance over the other doctors in the world. Pay no attention to it. All right, so next thing we're going to be testing is your hearing. That's right, your hearing. We're going to be seeing if you're deaf or not. Which would be very impressive if you got through this entire cranial nerve exam up to this point and you were deaf. I would be very impressed. All right, here we go. Can you hear this in this ear? Okay, awesome. How about this ear? right you're shaking your head yes so I'm assuming that's a yes I don't know if it means no in your country or not but man who needs hearing anyway Bye.